Hi everyone! Today we're creating this holographic Father's Day t-shirt. I've created a couple different designs and there's two methods to make this so let's get started. The first method is using a cutting machine. You'll need to go to the link in the description and pick one of the PNGs that I have designed. And then you're going to want to upload it into your cutting machine's design software. So the shirt that I'm creating is a size large and you'll want to decide how big you want the design to be on your shirt. And after measuring the shirt, I decided about 10 inches wide was best for a large shirt. So I'm just sizing that to 10 inches wide. And you're ready to go. And then if you've ever made a t-shirt iron on before, you'll know that it's really important to mirror it. So make sure you don't forget this step. If you're using a Cricut and the same vinyl that I am using, I suggest setting your machine to one notch higher than the iron on setting. And then just go ahead and cut it. And I just wanted to show you the vinyl that I'm using. This is navy blue holographic vinyl and I got it from Expressions Vinyl and I will link it in the description. So then I just went ahead and cut it using my Cricut. Make sure that the more matte side of the vinyl is the side facing up. Once the machine was finished with it, I just took note of where the design was and then very carefully cut around it with some scissors. So it looked like this. Then I took the vinyl and I carefully peeled off the excess vinyl so it just leaves the design on that backing sheet. And I did have a little bit of trouble weeding this. In certain areas, I think it wasn't completely cut through. That's why I suggest that you turn the cut setting one notch up from the regular iron-on because this seems to be a little thicker than regular. So it ended up looking like this and this on the back side. So now I'm just gonna lay it out on the shirt and measure around it to make sure that it's pretty centered. And I decided to use some pieces of paper to mark the edges of this when I take it off. And I have the iron on high and I'm just heating up the shirt for a few seconds to make sure it's hot. Then I place the design back down and now it's just time to iron it to the shirt. So I suggest putting a towel between the iron and the design, but just keep firm even pressure across the design and make sure that it gets really well attached. You'll especially want to focus on where there's little points or corners because those often don't get stuck down as well. And then let it cool for a little while and then you can peel off that backing sheet. And please ignore the ant. This is what happens when you film outside. And now on to the hand cut method. So I created this design specifically for if you need to cut this out by hand. And you're just going to need to print this pattern out. It is at the link in the description and then you'll want to tape it to a window. Then you'll need a piece of freezer paper that's bigger than the design. And see it has a shiny side and it has a more paper-like side and you'll want to put it on the window so the shiny side is against the paper and the paper side is up. And then tape it in place. Once you've done that, just take a pencil and carefully trace over each of the shapes and you'll want to keep them exactly as they are in this pattern. Then once it's completely traced, it should look like this and just go ahead and take it off the window. Then place it on a surface that you can cut on. And I'm just taking a number one X-Acto knife and I'm cutting out all of the shapes. And if you're not an adult, please ask one to help you with this. I hate to have to say that, but it's really easy to slip with an X-Acto knife and it's better to be safe than sorry. As you're cutting out the letters, be careful not to cut out those little pieces that connect areas within the letters. If you do accidentally cut them out, that's okay. It's just best if you can leave those in place. If you accidentally cut something out that you didn't mean to, just set it aside and then we can use it when we're ready to iron this onto the shirt. 
So it ends up looking like this with all the letters cut out. And you'll just need to lay it out on the shirt where you'd like it to be. And then go through and iron it down. And you don't need a high heat setting for this. Then you'll need some fabric paint or multi-surface acrylic paint. And you can get some that's holographic or glitter or anything like that. And then you'll just want to paint this over the design. And you'll want to be really careful around the edges with the paintbrush. Make sure to not press it under the edge of the paper or anything. And this will look best if you do multiple thick coats. And then when you're done, just carefully peel the paper off. And I have another video that goes over this paint method and I will link it below if you're interested. And that's it for this Father's Day t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more from my channel, feel free to subscribe and I hope you have a great day.